fishermen. We're back at Hawk Rock because I wanted to test out the new Ugly Stick Carbon. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me because it is a bait caster with an Abu Garcia reel on it. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test that out. Also, we're doing pike fishing, so it's more like a half review of this rod, half review of, or not review, but half review of the rod and then some pike fishing. So let's just get- So, this rod. I just bought it and this is me first like I don't use bait casters and honestly this rod is smooth it has an Abu Garcia black max reel on it not sure the ratio five bearings not sure I don't know much about bait casting stuff so but honestly this rod feels so smooth even with this bait like the bait caster reel on it this black max I think you can get them for like 60 or 80 bucks pretty good I was trying with minnows earlier, but that didn't really work out in my favor. So we're just going to do this. We're just going to test if we catch a pike and we catch a pike. But this is so smooth. I love it. Using, uh, so I got the carbon rod. So it's an ugly stick carbon. And this is uh, supposed to be 30% tougher than the GX2 and the Elite. And so far, it feels strong. I haven't caught a fish on it yet. Like I said, I guess started using bait casters and this thing cast nice. No bird's nest either. I have it on, uh, I think max, a little bit loose, but looks like it's gonna rain. Let's see if we can catch something. Let's see if we can catch something. If not, this will just do a quick review on this rod. And I got this rod as a combo for $169, but I think it's cheaper. Like the store I bought it at was um, Trombley's and they're really good there, but they're a little bit overpriced for some things. Really good store, I'm not putting them down or anything. Really awesome store, but I think they, uh, their numbers are a little different for pricing. So, but yeah, I think you can get this combo in Cabela's actually for a better price like I'd say 150 bucks somewhere around there but it's well worth it definitely well worth it especially like I'm trying to pike fish I want to try to catch a pike if I can here and show you guys the toughness of this rod if I can but if we don't we'll still do a review on it so far nothing caught a bass earlier but I was using my Shimano bait caster and I have to say switching to bait casters was definitely a game changer like really not bass and it was just like it felt like nothing compared to my spinning rods like using finesse rigs and stuff but this thing god this thing is definitely tougher like I just feel like it's lightweight too like with the combo I mean it's, it's so light which I like and my spinning rods are just, they're so, they're not like heavy, but they're much heavier than this. Once they're like, they're super heavy, unless you're putting like a huge 6,000 reel or a 4,000 reel, like my other ugly stick I have here, it's heavier. And it has a 4,000 reel on it. But this thing, this thing's as tough as balls. I really want to catch a fish. Look at that cast. I can probably cast farther with this, but I'm still getting used to casting rods. <laughs> but we had a cold front come in, so maybe that's why the fish are not really biting today. I was hoping to catch something, but all in all, this isn't too bad. Let's do a review. Sorry, I haven't made a video. It's been about a week since I made a video. It's just, it's been tough fishing. It's been piss pouring and thunderstorms and everything like that. So yeah, it's been tough. All right, well, I'm gonna keep casting. And if I catch a pike, I'll show you. If not, that is the review on this. And we'll just end, off, end it off like this, if not. If we do catch a pike, we catch a pike. But like I said, this rod is awesome. Seven foot, medium heavy, with a black max Abu Garcia reel on it. 
ugly start, ugly stick carbon. This thing feels amazing. It's lightweight and it's tough. So I would recommend buying this for your, you know, if you're going pike fishing or some big bass. I put 20 pound test on it. And this thing just, just feels amazing. I know I said that like several times, but definitely go out and buy this. I'll put the link in the description below for this rod at uh, Cabela's and Canadian Tire and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.